You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Fix Bayonets. We are now entering overdrive with your host, Alex Jones, broadcasting live from the front lines. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'll be taking your calls here in this overdrive segment. We want to get the people who've been on hold for a while to uh, be able to talk. We've got Nelson in Florida, Robert, California, Bob, Colorado, and Lucas in Texas. We're going to try to move through these quickly to get all of you who've been uh, holding here. Uh, Nelson, go ahead. Hi, David. Um, I'm Nelson, the outlaw patriot here in South Florida and uh, Naples, Fort Myers area. I talked to Alex uh, about a month ago, and uh, Lionel was on at the same time, and Lionel had mentioned that he had a buddy up in New York that's a musician that reaches people, and he was uh, saying that if we started doing like concerts and things like that, reach people through music and through families, through family events, and what I had proposed to Alex was to have like a freedom and constitutional tr truth tour, we the people, and have like Willie Nelson, Ted Nugent, and do a family thing, but invite all the sheriffs and police in the United States to join us at these events to talk about the Constitution, to talk about America and our values and morals, and, you know, just make it a family uh, event. And Alex said it, it would get co opted, you know, how everything does. Mm -hmm. But I believe if we do it in a family atmosphere and not a protest, but a parade, you know, where it's fun, it's, you know, it's well, all that's about true, yeah. Truth. Willie Nelson did Farm Aid years ago. It's, it's a great way to uh, reach people when you do it with entertainment, with family. That's, that's a good idea. I'll pass that on. Thanks. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to say? Okay, thanks. Uh, let's go to Robert in California. Robert? Hello, David. Hey. Uh, this is Robert. Uh, I served in the Navy, you know, and I just wanted to thank you. A lot of people thank Alex for uh, all the hard work he's doing, but I, I want to thank you, Jakari Jackson, and all the other guys there at InfoWars because you guys are doing a great job. Well, thanks. We wouldn't um, be doing anything else I, if we had a choice, even. So, go ahead. I, so, I was, I was on board nuclear submarines for about eight years. One of my main duties was uh, the purification of the water for the reactor, for potable water, and for the whole ship. And we also create our own oxygen. And we were able to survive down there, and it kind of taught me a lot. And getting out of the Navy, I wasn't really following Alex, and somebody referred me to him, and I remember him talking about water fluoridation. And mm -hmm. at the time, it was kind of new to me. So, But I, when I speak to people, they, they seem skeptical that the government or whoever could um, put something like that in the water, and it, and it must be good for you. Well... Water isn't simple. If you study water chemistry, the book that we had in the Navy was actually two volumes, and they're about a foot and a half thick. And so there's a lot to water, and um, it's not simple. And halogens, like fluoride, don't belong in your water, and they don't, they're not good for your thyroid. And so for anybody out there who's still skeptical... No, absolutely. Just, you, know, you know, Robert, it was interesting when I was in uh, Denmark covering Bilderberg. I had someone come up to me and he goes, uh, yeah, I, I recommend your program to people and they just can't believe what Alex is saying. They can't believe that anybody would put fluoride in the public water system. And I think one of the things that we need to do to explain to people who are skeptical about this and say, okay, let's forget for a moment whether fluoride is safe or effective. Let's talk about a safe and effective medicine. Take your pick. Would you put it in the water supply knowing that you can't have any control over the dosage, that a baby is going to get the same dosage as an adult male? That's a very stupid, dangerous proposition. So anybody that wants to talk about fluoride, I would start at, at that point. Thank you, Robert. Let's go to uh, Bob in California, trying to go through these calls quickly. Go ahead, Bob. Hi, David. Um, just a real quick reference to the previous caller. Um, just like he said, thanks to all you guys for helping fight the info war priceless. Um, I just wanted to touch real briefly on a point that Alex had brought up about how the football scandal yesterday was getting so much attention. I actually ended up at a local business and they had oh, CNN on. Well, I got a couple of seconds. Make it real quick. Tell us what. You, give us your take. All right. Yeah, they. Ten seconds. They spent a lot of time covering that, and then briefly after that, they went to. Um, coverage of politics in the Middle East 
spent Absolutely. It gets more. all the press. I'm sorry we don't have any more time. Apologies to Lucas. Join us tonight, 7 Central, InfoWars Nightly News. Sold out for weeks due to the difficulty.